definitely have our own language. Have you heard of water slugs? North Atlantic triangle fish. Deep fried hamsters. One of my favorites will always be Zarf. Oh, Zarf, yes. Yeah, so. Poopy suit. Poopy suits. <laughs> Life on a submarine is um, unique. You live inside a biodome that's built for sinking. See <laughs> some kind of report. County of some gain. A normal day for us, so we'll get up and then take a shower, get ready, brush our teeth, shave. Dennis next. Eat kind of normal stuff you would normally tend to see, but then we work on a rotating eight-hour shift. So you could be on days, you could be on nights, you could be on uh, mids, and then uh, you'll go on and stand your watch. We make our own water, we make our own oxygen. How long we can operate is usually based on how much food we can carry. The mission for these submarines is to be the strongest leg in the nuclear triad, deterrence. Strategic deterrence is the hugest thing we do. We're out here to make sure that nobody wants to pick on the U.S. You know everybody by their first name. You know everybody's background. It's a, it's a small, tight-knit family. I've been lucky to have some great CEOs and be on some great boats and serve with some really awesome people. There are things that, I, that, that I've done at sea or on a submarine that I'll never forget. And there are people that I've met that I'll never forget. And without submarines or the Navy, I would have never had the opportunity. Being able to have a job like this and being in a place that I am, it's a huge honor. I, uh, I enjoy what I do and serving our country is what's, what's put me where I'm at, so I'm very proud of that. Oh, of course, it's the best part of the Navy. There's a lot of communities that think they're the best, but they've never been on a submarine, so now I think they've changed their mind.